Good morning, traders. It's Monday, 25th of October, 2021. Okay, the start of a brand new trading week. Let's hope it's a good one. And we hope you had a great weekend, feeling nice and refreshed and ready to get back into it. Things to notice this week in the news are the um, the policy reports, monetary policy reports and statements from Canada, Bank of Japan, so the Bank of Canada, Bank of Japan, and the um, and of Europe monetary policy statement. So those can cause some volatility volatility in the market. Uh, nothing expected today and tomorrow. Nothing of a high priority nature anyway, or high impact nature. Uh, let's pull that over there. I'll just show you a few charts of interest to myself personally. Euro, dollar. <clears throat> We've got this um, descending trend line here, as you can see. So at present, we are in what we would assume to be a corrective phase of this impulse down. We've got the whole movement, if you like, on this daily time frame is to the downside. We have this impulse here, and we would expect this to be a correction. And we have the trend line. Let me just uh, use a fib on this just to see if we are. Yeah, we are actually at 38.2% fib level, which is a potential area of, well, it is, you know, an area of resistance. But um, we could still push up towards the trend line. And I do actually like it to have a little bit of a push higher purely because of the what I'm seeing on this smaller time frame, I can see this impulse, correction, impulse. This is a consolidation to me. And to me, this would typically break to the upside. Now, is it gonna do that? Nobody knows. Well, me and you don't know. Maybe somebody knows, you know, who's in the markets, who's uh, a big player in the markets. They know exactly what they're gonna do, but we're not gonna know. All I can tell you is that to me, that looks like a a consolidation ready to push to the upside and if it does I think it's going to come and either test this trend line or the 1.17 mark whichever comes sooner so I will be looking out for that you can see I've got my alert set above this high here I want to see something impulsive and uh, look for a, a correction and then see if there's a nice reward to risk up into 1.17 if the reward to risk isn't good uh, for any reason, then won't be able to take the trade. Um, Swiss yen is also a good one. This uh, is looking very, very nice, actually, um, purely because we're at the top of a structure here. Top of a structure where, of course, we could push all the way down. Uh, first things first, though, you've got uh, you've got that resistance there. And you got this resistance here. So I do see this moving downwards. How far we go, I don't know. But certainly, first kind of point of interest would be that high there, or somewhere around those highs. Just drop that down a little bit. Then we've got this resistance here. Then we've got this resistance here. But I do like this for some downside. And it's formed. Uh, head and shoulder pattern which is a reversal pattern from an uptrend into a downtrend got a left shoulder head right shoulder okay so we've got a high higher high lower high and i think we've produced a lower high there and we're going to go so look for a break of this swing low here it's looking pretty uh, good at the moment um <clears throat> WTI oil, keep your eyes on this one because I feel that this is due a correction as well. We're at the top of a lovely uh, bit of a bullish momentum here. I can see a correction happening, but we need to see those sellers come into the market. Will it come all the way down to here? Again, we don't know. Could do, might do, we don't know. But this is at a this is basically one impulse move and we haven't really seen a correction on it. So, you know, even if we correct back into this swing high here, you know, that is a correction. So keep your eyes on WT oil looking for it to start to break down. Nothing now at the moment. Here is our four hour trend line. Um, still above there and pushing above this morning actually so uh, we've got a number here 86 big number around about to where the top of that uh, resistance is so that might be worth looking at in fact I am going to 
I'm going to put an alert right now around 86. Let's just adjust that here right now. There we go. I'd be interested to see if we get any kind of reaction at 86. Um, Euro Aussie. Nothing at the moment for what I'm particularly looking at, but I'll show you what I'm looking at. Um, and you can take away what you want from it. Let's just delete that and delete that for a second. So just what I'm seeing here, just connected this low, this low, and extended it across, and we are at that uh, same trend line. So we are at trend line support. We could see some upside. And we've seen a, a, a head and shoulder pattern here, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. This is the neckline, broke the neckline, but we look for a retest of the neckline to short it. It didn't happen. We might come back now, we might see resistance here, we might see price come back and retest it. So I'm actually looking for reversals here. Now this did produce a morning star pattern, one, two, three, off the trend line. And you can see I've got my alert set above this candle here, which is also a hammer candle. So if we break that high, I'm gonna be um, potentially looking for long trades towards 159. Uh, but uh, you know, off the bat, of the, um, the you know the the first bit of a uh, morning trading that's going on bearish move so literally um, you know my idea of looking for buyers is uh, not happening at the moment but no worries that's you know that's why we have an alert set we have a bias if it doesn't play out it doesn't play out you know I'm not going to get involved in a long trade on this until I see a long setup now there is a long setup there for end of day traders if you put your buy stop above that high but it won't have triggered, okay? That's only gonna trigger if we see buyers come into the market. So um, keep your eyes on Euro dollar for long Swiss yen shorts. I'm looking at Euro Aussie longs, but not getting that um, set up at the moment. So guys, very, very early on in the London session on the first full day of trading, you know, don't be any, don't be in any rush to get involved quite yet. Um, we normally like to get involved, you know, once the US session has kicked in and we've got full volatility, full liquidity, I should say, in the market. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so have a great week. Obviously, I will speak to you in the next update. And if I don't speak to you before, have a great day. Catch you later.